everybody, this is a tutorial on how to use the frame mockups inside of Photoshop for beginners. So if you downloaded one of the mockups with the frame, this is how you will use it. Um, I just downloaded the zip file, so you will have a JPEG file too, but I will show you how to use the zip file. Double click on it, it will open automatically and you won't need this anymore, so I will put it aside. Then I have my frame mockup in here, double click and it will open inside of Photoshop. I will make this a bit smaller so we can see everything. These are my panels I want to use, so I have layers, adjustments and properties. If you don't see any of these, you can find every of these three um, panels inside of window and then adjustment, layers and properties. So the next step is to remove this top layer because this is just something that helps to make the file smaller, you don't need it anymore. Now you can see the background uh, or the, what's be behind the layer is a bit darker. This is because I want to offer you more flexibility. So to make it a bit brighter, simply go to Adjustments, Brightness Contrast and then put the brightness a bit on top. It's really up to you how much you do it. You can also leave it like this. If you have a more moody kind of look so this is the natural light if you want to make it lighter or brighter simply put the brightness on top so this is it for this adjustment now I have my image I want to put inside of this um, frame and I have my background texture I downloaded it for free on Unsplash so simply go, go to unsplash.com if you want to find uh, for free uh, or commercial free usable <laughs> background textures. So here we go. So the first step to put my image inside, to, uh, inside of this frame is to double click on your design. Five, uh, five and seven inch is the size of this frame. Double click and another document will open automatically. Here we go. I make this a bit smaller so you can see it better. So this is the document that opened automatically. If you double click, click on this um, icon, not on the text because then you have to change the text. It doesn't make any sense. So simply click in here. Now we are in this um, frame section, so to speak, and I will drag and drop my image into my new opened layer. I will scale it, enter, and here we go. Since I don't want this checkerboard or this um, <laughs> kind of look in the background, simply go down here to this small icon and choose solid color. And then you can pick your color or something that matches your image if you have a PNG. If you have a JPEG, of course, you already have a background. So I will choose this color and now I will save this, save and simply close it. As you can see, it's automatically in my frame image. Now I want to show you how to change the background color. Then you have change wall color and change floor color. Here we go. Simply double click on it and now you can change the color. The same with the floor. Double click and change the color. So if you want to add texture onto your um, wall, it's super easy. So I will remove this color from the background and make it white so you will see the texture a bit better and then I have to make sure that my texture is inside of add wallpaper here of this folder so now the folder is empty when you close and open it nothing happens simply drag 
your image or your texture inside of the document. I will adjust it a bit and press enter on your keyboard to place it. And now it's somewhere in between, I don't know, in between the image and the background. So I have to drag it into my folder. So put it down here, drag it, and then it's inside of your folder. Now you can see the texture is on the wall. So you can make the opacity a bit lower to not make it so intense. And now you can of course also change the color if you want to. So if you want to check texture on top of your color, you can also do the same. Here we go. Now you can save this as a um, Photoshop um, file or write it or save it as another file. So you can go back later and adjust some settings if you want to. So if you want to save it for your um, I don't know, website maybe, go to file and save as, and then save it as a JPEG. So, choose your folder of destination and simply um, click on save, and that's it. So, this is it. If you have any questions left, please feel free to write me a message or a comment, and I will answer your question. See you, bye!